In this example, we want to evaluate the improper integral, okay, going from one to infinity of one minus x times e to the negative x. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and write this in terms of the limit. Okay, so our upper bound is approaching infinity, so I'm gonna let b approach infinity. So we have the limit of the integral from one to b. Our function is one minus x times e to the negative x dx, okay? All right, so if, if you, for this integral, if you notice, we have a uh, product of two functions here, right? We have an algebraic part and exponential function. So that means we need to apply the integration by parts formula, okay? Or, or integration by parts technique to solve this integral. Okay, so let's do that over here. Okay. I'm gonna apply that. Okay. Apply integration by parts. We call the LIET acronym. Okay, so you have logarithms, inverses, algebraic functions, trig functions, exponential functions. So in this case we have an algebraic function and we have an exponential function. So we're gonna let you uh, so let so in this case u is going to be one minus x. Dv will be the remaining part. So you have e to the minus x dx. Okay. Du is so that's this the derivative of one minus x, which is negative dx. And v is going to be uh, the integral of e to the minus x, which is negative e to the negative x. Okay. So applying the uh, integration by parts formula, you have u times v minus the integral v times uh, integral v du. Okay, so u times v minus the integral v du. Okay, so let's work it. Let's work out this. Uh, let's work out the details of this on this side. So you have um, minus e to the negative x. times one minus x. Okay, you have minus minus, so you're gonna have minus here, times the integral of e to the negative x dx. Okay, so this is gonna give us minus e to the negative x, one minus x. The integral of this is just gonna be positive, okay, e to the negative x, okay. And okay, so now going back up here, okay, we need to take this result, plug it in back into here, and then evaluate from one to b. So we have minus e to the negative x, one minus x plus e to the minus x. We evaluate from one to b. Okay, so that's gonna give us All right, so plugging these, uh, plugging these limits of, and plugging, plugging in the, uh, these bounds, you're going to get minus e to the minus b, one minus b, plus e to the negative b. Okay, and then for one, okay, so you have plugging in one, you're going to get zero there. And then you're going to get minus e to the negative one. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. So simplifying this. Okay. We're going to get. Minus e to the negative b. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and distribute this. Uh, plus b e to the minus b plus e to the minus b minus 1 over e. Okay. So these are going to cancel out and that will leave us with the limit as b goes to infinity of b e to the minus b minus 1 over e. Okay. So 
1 over e is constant. So actually, what I can do here, what we can do is we can split this up. The limit of 1 over e, that's just a constant, so that's going to be minus 1 over e. So this, okay, uh, this integral, not this integral, sorry, this limit, okay, okay, this limit, um, we can rewrite as limit as b goes to infinity of okay this is going to be the same as b over e to the b okay so this is right so if we do a direct substitution here you're going to get infinity on infinity so that tells you that we need to apply L'Hopital's rule here okay Okay. Okay, so we have the limit okay of we're gonna take the derivative of the top part, okay, which is just one. The derivative of the bottom part with respect to b is just e to the b. So therefore, okay, this the limit of this you have one over something getting large, one over infinity. It's going to go to zero. So therefore, okay, the overall limit, okay, is going to give us minus one over e, okay, because don't forget this part here, okay. So therefore, the integral, the integral of uh, from one to infinity of one minus x times e to the negative x is equal to minus 1 over e. So therefore this integral converges.